Have you ever been in a situation where you accidentally deleted an issue in Jira and you wish that you could bring it back? Well, as you know, because Jira's UI does a great job at telling you, once you delete an issue, it is gone forever and there's nothing you can do to bring it back unless if you're using a third-party backup and restore solution. Now in today's video, which is sponsored by my good friends over at Revised, we're going to be looking at their backup and restore plugin that is going to allow us to go back in time and bring that issue back from the dead. Hopefully also saving your job in the process. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And most importantly, don't forget to check out the links down below so that you can start your free 30 day trial to this amazing plugin. Don't want to sleep in cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. Let's go over a common scenario. Somebody, again, by whatever reason, they ignore the warning signs and they hit delete on an issue. And again, once you hit delete on an issue, those issues are permanently gone in Jira. But luckily for you and your company, you all have Revise's backup solution and you've been taking daily snapshots. So you tell your folks, hey, worry not, we got a backup, we're just gonna go and restore it. So let me actually walk you through those steps of somebody accidentally deleting something so you can see how it looks. So this is what it typically looks like. We're gonna go to this test number three here. This is an, a story. And in fact, we're just going to click on these ellipses here and we're gonna delete it. This is the standard delete. And one thing that you should also keep in mind is that if your users are deleting issues commonly and they're then complaining, you might wanna remove the power to delete because that is a permission that you can configure. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna hit delete there. That issue is completely gone. It was DD-3. Now for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna record it so that I remember that I deleted DD-3. When you get the request from a user telling you, oh my gosh, something got deleted, but you don't have all the details, worry not because the tool's actually gonna help you figure that information out. So let me show you how to get that information. So in the tool, you're gonna to come to the gear. We're gonna click on apps. Then we're going to go down on the left-hand side to revise data security. But instead of doing the clone and restore, which is what we're gonna do very, very soon, we're going to click on site insights. Now, when we click on this, this is going to give us some metadata. This is gonna give us some very useful information to help us determine what got deleted and what needs to be restored. Click on the issues up here. From there, you're gonna see the date that something got deleted, but most importantly, down below, you're going to see this issue deleted history, and this is gonna show the last six months. You have a couple of filters that you can do in case you have way too much information. You can fine tune it to the date that it was actually deleted, but rest assured that the tool is gonna to show you. And so I recommend at this point that you sit down with the person that submitted a request, you know, telling you that something got deleted, can you restore it? You wanna sit with them, confirm, hey, which ones do you want restored? And then when you do the restoration, this is the key. This is going to help you then figure out, okay, this is exactly what I'm gonna restore later. So now that the issue is gone, now's the fun part. Now you can go into your gear, click on apps, and on the left-hand side, we're gonna to go to our revised data security, and we're gonna do a couple of things. First, we wanna make sure that the backup exists. As I mentioned, Revise does a nightly backup. And so if somebody just deleted something today or they deleted it yesterday, you should have a backup. But just come in here, you know, to do a sanity check to make sure you do have one of these nightly backups. In my particular case, I have a couple of weeks worth of backups, but let's just say that somebody deleted something like three months ago. Well, guess what? Three months ago, I don't have a backup from three months ago. So that's gonna be a problem. But as long as you have a backup from some day, then you're gonna be just A-OK -okay because this tool is going to be keeping snapshots of all your issues every single day. So once you've done that sanity check, now we're gonna do the fun stuff. So we're gonna click on clone and restore, and then we're gonna click on granular restore because we don't need to bring back everything. We don't need to do a full restoration of the site. We just wanna bring back a specific issue. Now keep in mind, you can also do your issue attachments and you can do Jira issues. And then if you're using JSM, you can do assets and assets configuration. So we're gonna do the issues here and we're gonna create a new copy. You also do have the option to revert from existing, but for this demo, we're just gonna create a new copy. So click on that. And then you gotta go find the snapshot that had it, right? So I'm gonna go maybe back a day 
And then I'm going to select the source project. Where did it come from? Well, in this particular case, I know that it came from Dee's demo. Then you're going to click on next and then it's your destination. We're going to do a self site, which means we're looping within ourselves. But keep in mind that you do have the ability to, if you have different sites, you could go and restore it to a different site. But in this particular scenario, we're going to just loop on ourselves and then we're going to put it right back where we lost it. We're going to go right back to Dee's demo and we're going to stick it right there. I'm going to click on next. And then this is just to help you again, get a little bit more granular with the results that are going to come back. So you can leave everything here or you can just fine tune and say, hey, just bring me back epics because I know it was an epic or I'm going to look for uh, issues that were in a specific status. Now, in this particular case, I don't really care because I only have six issues in there. So it's going to be easy to identify, but you might not have that luxury. So you might want to just filter because that user that deleted it is going to tell you, hey, it was an epic or it was a story or it was a bug, whatever it is, then you're going to be able to pick from it there. Now, once you do that, you have a couple of other options, right? You can actually search for the issue in the summary. You can search for it in the description. You could also uh, restore granularly or all the filtered issues. And then you can also restore issues with their default settings. So this might be a good option for you. I'm just going to leave the defaults here and I'm going to click restore preview. And this is now going to go into that backup that I specified and it's going to go find all the issues. Now, because I was smart, I wrote it down DD-3. Uh, I just have a really bad short term memory. And so I am now going to see that, hey, this is the issue that I want to restore. And that's it. So now I'm going to click on the restore button here. I'm going to click yes, restore. And then a job is going to queue up. Now, while this is running, I'm going to take a little second here to kind of entertain you because it does take about a minute or so to actually execute. And I don't want you to watch paint dry. So I'm just going to stall here for a quick second. If you grow impatient, you can always click on the job ID. And that's going to give you a little bit more metadata. As you can see here, we can see the ID, we can see the source site, we can see the source project, we can see the destination site and the destination project. And most importantly, we're really interested in this status up here, which is queued. Now, if again, if you want to, you can click on this little refresh button here. It's going to refresh. It does take about a minute or two for it to latch on and actually execute. So just feel free to keep pressing this refresh button until it eventually says running and then eventually it'll say success. As you can see here, we're officially running. And so that means that the job is actually executing. You can see down here on the bottom left corner that this is going. It's you can see it's spinning. And so it's doing its thing again. We're going to hit refresh again. And now you can see that we're successful, right? So we got a green check mark here and we are able to download the log. So you can actually click on this little button here. It's going to download a CSV, which is then going to show you exactly what happened. So I can double click on this and it's going to show you, hey, this is what was restored. This is the new key and this is the original key. So you can also send this file over to the person that requested it so that they have their new mapping. Right. And so once we have that, all we need to do now is do a sanity check. We just need to go and make sure, hey, did this thing actually work? And so we're going to go back into our projects. We're going to go back into these demo and you're going to see that we now have DD-11. And a couple of things that I want to note is that every field that was in here, it's going to be in here as well. And if you take a look at the history, you're going to see that revise backup and restore basically repopulated and made all the changes to get all the field data right back in here. So that's pretty much how you can restore issues back from a backup in case somebody in your team again blatantly ignores the warning that Jira clearly tells you once you hit the delete key, everything's gone. Right. And so if you're fortunate enough to have this solution, you're going to be able to very easily go in back in time, extract those issues and bring them back to the present. If you don't have a backup solution, I recommend you check out the links down in the description below because revise the solution is very, very simple to use. It feels very natural, very intuitive. It's all in there and it's going to allow you to again, if in case in the unlikely event that something bad ever happens, you're going to be able to go back to your old backup and just bring those issues right back and going to save your butt. And it's hopefully going to save somebody's job from getting fired because every once in a while you end up deleting an issue that is very, very mission critical. And unless you have a backup like this, Jared Cloud is going to say, sorry, tough luck, right? But not for you because you watched this video, you took the advice, you went and installed Revises backup solutions, you're going to be able to always have a CYA and you're going to be able to save the day with a restoration.
So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button right now. And don't forget to check out the links down below as you're going to have the link so you can start your free 30-day trial. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. So